This is your boy Movie Man Greg coming at you guys with another reaction and today we're doing Sopranos episode 3. I'm excited. Um, so far, my man's, he got a lot going on. You know, Tony, he got a lot, a lot going on. He got stuff he's dealing with his mom and he got stuff he's dealing with Christopher, you know, and then his dude, I think his name is Brandon. You know, his crew is not the brightest of the bunch. You know, they they uh repainted that science teacher's car. So I'm like, why would y'all do that? Like, but to be fair, Tony probably didn't give them all the information. Like, yo, this is for the science teacher, blah, 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 blah. You know, now he turned in a car that's obviously not his own car. So, and then it's like to put myself in the in the science teacher's shoes. It's like, yo, I'm not accepting anything that does not belong to me. Like, this is obviously some fishy shit. So, um, so that's going on. Um, then you know, he got this thing with his mama. Man, when I tell you guys, I laughed so hard when his his mama ran over her friend. It's not funny. But damn it, I laughed my ass off how she rolled on top of the hood the way she did. Man, it was hilarious. But, you know, he's dealing with that whole situation with his mama. But then also, he's in denial. Like, I personally feel he has all this anger, all this resentment towards his mama. I don't think he hates his mom. But I think he don't like his, like, he does not like how his mom treated his dad. Um, which he feels like, I think he, he feels like his dad was, was grinded down to a nobody because of his mom, you know? So I think that's something that deep inside, he just kind of just shoved it down. And now he's lashing out on other people. Like my man that was answering the telephone, he was sitting there struggling with the phone, been struggling with this whole time another connection his mom been struggling with the phone so he's like enough with the goddamn phone between you and my mama shit is going left but then it's like he can't take shit out on his mama so he takes stuff out on the dude at the bar so it's a lot of pent-up aggression that he's got going on and then his therapist is trying to pry and he won't even won't even talk about it so i'm excited to see what happens i have a prediction uh, especially since it was Chris man who fucked up, you know, and he didn't tell him not to do it. I think they're going to make Chris, um, maybe whack his boy. Like, look, you want to prove that you was not a part of this, then you got to take care of your boy. Cause your man's is gone. Like if they don't kill him, he got to go. Simple as that. So that's what I think is going to go. They got to kill Chris's boy and they're going to make Chris do it. So let's see if I'm right. All right. Here we go. I am ready. The name of this episode is Denial, Anger, and Acceptance. Yeah. Hey, that's the truck. The one that was stolen hey. in Newark. Hey, what are you doing with the truck, asshole? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Did he have to shoot his gun? Uncle Junior's been breaking Tony's balls because you hijacked that truck. You're lucky Tony doesn't shove the cab up your ass. Yep. He's going to have Chris kill him. You should have sent a clear-cut signal to what you fuck with Junior, Soprano. Take it easy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, see? If he was in charge, he would have took care of Chris. How you doing? <clears throat> What's that? A trick picture out there? A trick picture. Wait. It's psychological picture. <laughs> like that. Uh, that. What do you call a test? The ink block test. But it's got that built right into it. How? <laughs> She's like, I'm. I'm sick of this bullshit. You worried about him, Jackie? Jackie's so fucking mean, he'll scare that cancer away. <laughs> cancer. Oh, Jackie has cancer. Hospital, sweetheart. Nothing like that's gonna happen here. There in the line will kill you. No. <laughs> it's like, shut your stupid ass up. He's got it much worse than you, though. It's eating his brain away. 
Hey, somebody having a baby or what? Hey. Hey, Tony. Got the whole gang. Hey, Polly. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mikey, nice to see you again in uh, men's clothing. <laughs> He's a nice guy, but he's like the grim fucking reaper. It's like he knows every guy with a fucking cancer sound. He can't wait to tell you. <laughs> Tyleman gives him 50% of his motel. Call the get. They call it a get. Why don't he just... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's taboo for their religion. <laughs> Jews. When a Jew gets a divorce, even the older sheds tears. I heard, I heard enough. Right, uh, uh, uh. Could this be Artie Book? Artie! What's going on, Art? Insurance money. What are you talking about? I thought all that was settled. Join the club. They're putting us through a second arson investigation. What do they think? You're mobbed what? up? You're working sticks. Who would burn down a perfectly good restaurant? Stupid. Oh, man. Everything's backfiring. Up. Oh. Is he about to tell him right now? Only one concept I'm asked. Shit runs down here. Yes, it does. Come on, come in the kitchen. I'll buy you a beer. He's taking the shit kind of well, though, but he don't know what happened. He gonna flip his shit when he find out Tony had to happen. How are you? This is my son. Does he have a name or do we have to give <laughs> Yes. Call me Tony. What would you do if your daughter was abused by her husband? Kill him. Hmm. Family problem that I can help you with. And if I can do it, that will make me happy. <laughs> but you're fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Is a gay in Haim and the critic biz Den Handel and Zogan. Don't say shit in front of company. All right, twenty-five percent. He wants fifty. We get twenty-five. V -v -v I don't understand. That's because I'm not talking. Ooh, ooh. Did you not just understand what your dad just said? Best in labor, take a hate. Ooh, give me what I want. You get that twenty-five percent. It's done. He gonna smack the shit out of his son when he get home. Yeah, half hour and no services, please. Yeah. Any problem I may or may not be having with my family is none of your matter. So get out of here. <laughs> nah, you you don't understand. <laughs> listen, listen. You couldn't possibly understand what's going on here. Shlomo is an arrogant, ignorant Shlomo. control freak. Don't embarrass yourself any further. Oof. Just leave. I'm not embarrassed. You embarrassed? Oof. Oof. Listen to me, you away. <laughs> How I say nothing. Oof. 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 How's that for nothing? Oof. 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 Beat the shit out of him with a bail. Paulie and Sylvia don't fuck around. Wow. That, I'm serious, you guys. Nah, if we can't score some crystal, we're Oh! Oh! I'm sorry, time out. <laughs> oh, my God. They said Chris, are they... This, okay, this is what, 15, 20 years ago? This, she said crystal. I'm assuming crystal meth. Is that a good assumption? They're trying to score some crystal meth. Oh, shit. Whew. Alrighty. Oh, it's such a load off your helping me. This whole party has me at six Eesh. and sevens. Get that, will you, babe? Sure. I'm the only one who has to go to work around here. Yeah, oh, shit. Something about to go down. Oh, never mind. You want a soda or something? How about a beer? Yeah, right. Just kidding. No, nah, she was not kidding. So if you don't want something, what do you want? I want a cop. Ooh. Ooh. Christopher, you better tell. Yeah, you got money. Shut up. You ain't giving them shit. Why not? 
How about for starters, your father will put a bullet in my head? Period. Since when do you... Oh, shit. This nigga... Man, this motherfucker Just right here. Attention. I don't know what you see in him. Money! What do you think? <laughs> Me. Bye. Wow. Bro, she's in high school, man. She's not going to go down there. She's just trying to get me to give her some speed. Isn't it better if she gets it from you with all that poison that's floating around? Oh, hell no. Nah. It's better if she don't get none of that shit at all. You better tell her fucking daddy. That's a situation where you tell fucking Tony Soprano, yeah, he's going to kill her. But shit, that ain't on you. <laughs> You want you want your younger generation to be able to to trust you and confide in you, but this is a this is over the line. Like, no, your parents need to be made aware on what the fuck you into. Shit, that's fucking wild. Gonna come to me for some crystal. Man, get the. Uh, I think you got the wrong room there, huh? Cause uh, you are not my nurse. I know, but I made up the bed. Uh, no, sweet. Now that is not a normal nurse. Fine. Look wow. at these flowers. Nobody sends flower arrangements like New York. Let me just check his. Oh. Wow. <laughs> this is obviously a gift. Damn. Oh, I got it. The question is who sent this gift? <laughs> that was nice of you to have a party for your friend. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> He was like, yep, that was some party. Mm. But you said he might go home. They're not operating? What's next to something vital? I see. Ooh. You see? What are you talking about? What's happening is we're getting closer to you confronting your true feelings about what's really going on here. Ooh, ooh. Nah. Is she about to stare back to his mama? Nothing in that picture to indicate that. The fucking painting. I knew that was a fucking scam. I knew that painting was a fucking scam. <laughs> you remember your dream? I'll tell you, some job you shrink, Scott. You think everybody's lying to you while you're pulling scams on them. Fuck you. Yep, there we go. Anger. Uh, Gene says they shouldn't be too sober for the silent auction. If anyone ever finds... Uh, uh, joke. I know you and me don't always get it. That's it. All right, you delivered the message. Now let Meadow study. Oh, man. This motherfucker. Oh. Tony gonna kill Chris. But to have that man as a partner, trust me, Artie, that would be insane. It, it would mean the end of everything. At least She ain't mistake. wrong. Name Squeezing the quail. It's crazy, cause she's right. Like, she's right. Charmaine. Sure. Charmaine. What is that? What What is that? Oh, oh, they be slow my ass again. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's not Shlomo. That's um the son-in-law. I can't even think of his name, though. Don't you forget about the past. Look to the future, okay? I am sick of hearing about your fucking restaurant. Shut up about it, you depressing fucking jerk! The fuck? Oof. Oof. Did you just start raw food on this motherfucker's face? Mm. Oh, shit. It's getting real. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's getting real in there though. They about to beat the sh brakes off this motherfucker. Too late for pleases, you stupid fuck. Fortune! On top of that, I worked for a father for 20 years and put up with his abuse. I should walk away without a nickel? That's no, Oof. Ooh, are oh, you trying to fight back? Hey, man. That's Silvio and Paulie. Hit his ass with a 
meat tenderizers. Wally, if we don't kill this prick, we should put him to work. <laughs> if we don't kill him, we should put him to work. Like this man. He's a wasted. I was lucky I could He's a bull. That party tonight. But I gotta go. Ты всегда уходишь, но почему же нельзя остаться то Like give me like 30 minutes. Me to you. Nothing. It just reminds me of David Hockey. David Hockey. Uh, I don't know who that is. What, are you fucking kidding me? You know, most guys I know would be happy to get rid of their wife. I try <laughs> to explain in the reality. See. Look, I promised oh, to fight man. him, but I wouldn't. Nah, I didn't know what else to do. He's like, we gotta whack this guy. Sick fuck. You ever heard of the Masada? No. What is that? Please explain. And the Romans? Where were they now? You're looking at them, asshole. <laughs> Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no. A man that's not afraid to die. <sighs> Sorry, Shlomo. We got to kill your son in law. Here on this earth, I know one thing that no man wants to go through life without. His thing. His thing, thing. His thing thing. Don't touch his thing thing. Oh no! We're going to Plan B. The phone has been ringing all morning. With the Rotellis, the trill. Oh, he about to clip his manhood. Really, Manny, though, I couldn't have done it without you. It just meant so much to me just having you here. I want to know what this shit was. Like, what is that? So long ago, you and Tony, you, you weren't even married. It's probably silly for me to even bring it up now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tony won the outs. He called me. Oh. He did. One thing led to another. We started dating each other, and... Camilla, I slept with them. Oh! What?! What? Made our choices. I'm fine with mine. Oh! You just gonna drop that little piece of information like it was just... Oh, you remember that one time? What the f... Yo! Now it makes sense why she... She's not... <sighs> oh... Oh shit, that's a bomb, bro. So, so, so Tony slept with Artie's wife. I want to do Artie know. That's it's so much going on right now. I wonder if Tony he's doing all this stuff for Artie because he feels guilty. So there's that aspect. You know, he never told his wife. Now you got all this stuff going on where she got a smile in front of Carm. Oh, yo, that's a fucking bomb. Whew. Oh man, what is gonna come? What's what's holy shit? She's about to be pissed. 15% gives my daughter daughter the divorce, and that it, it's business. It worked out. <laughs> yeah, one for me, Shmolo. Yes. No. Nah. Listen, don't worry. Uh Taking good care of you here. Nah, you better give me my motherfucker twenty five percent. Simple. That's fine. You can give him that little fifteen percent if you want to. I need my fucking twenty five percent. Period. If he reneges on that twenty five percent, if I'm Tony, I'm pissed. Care of you here. Yeah. What's that? What's that? Uh, for your considerable trouble, as the Talmud says. You better. Give him I don't money. give a shit what he says. Okay? Now you listen to me. You want to give your son in law 15% of the motel? That's cool. You go ahead. It comes out of your end. Yeah. Now we got you. Got it? My son was right. Yeah. Your mud. Godless. Nah, that's fucked up. You offer me something. I do, I do what I need to do on my end. 
I need my 25%. Gollum! What the fuck is the bullshit? Yes! Shut up! I need my 25%. Like, Shlomo, that's your boy? Silvio? Oh man. Cancer is hitting them hard. His hand on the guy's head. Digital. We're wailing on this guy. I'm threatening to cut his dick off. It's a cool nurse. He's more. He's dying, Tony. What the fuck? He don't care about none of the shit you're talking about right now, bro. Yeah, you gotta accept it, bro. Your man's dying. God hears his reasons. Olivia, you look twice as. It's <laughs> for me one year. Good. Junior want Christopher bad. He want he want to kill Chris so badly, and I don't blame him. I go before I light a friggin' match under that hot-headed son of yours. Yeah, he's coming to you as a courtesy. Joe. You know, the other one. Fuck him. Fuck him. Forget about it. <laughs> it's like he's already gone. Yes. Yep. Jackie, to see this, this strong. Beautiful man. Looks so frail. This way. Dying. Yeah. Have to bring a man down. Mm. Yep, here we go. Oh, is it about to go down? Is it a he got so much shit going on. His daughter scoring drugs. His wife knows about the the shindig with Artie's wife. Oh my God. It's it's about to go down, y'all. Ooh. Yo. <laughs> Uncle Junior about to talk to Chris. Right. Listen, Metal wanted the crystal. If I didn't get it through you, don't want that Jefferson. Oh. Listen to me. I was trying to, to save her. This is me you speaking good. Whew. Okay. That was a warning. He said, this is your last warning. Fuck with Junior shit again. You're going to swim with the fishes. Let's see. Uh, look, are they sweating? They fidgety? Yeah, you know what it looks like when someone's on drugs. Oh. Her solo. Ooh, look, she's sweating her ass off. He gonna cry in the car. <laughs> Ooh, he dead. I just knew that they were gonna make Christopher do it. He gone. Damn. I knew he was going to die. I just didn't know how he was going to die. Yep. There we go. They about to pass the fuck out. Oh, damn. No. Woo! All right. And there we have it. The next episode of The Sopranos. Yeah. It's a lot going on. This shit is getting juicy, y'all. So one of my predictions was right. I knew Brandon was going to die. He had to go. Like, that was that was obvious. But I thought they was going to make Chris do it. Like, I think that would have sent a different message. Like, yo, like, you need to start taking responsibility of your shit. But Uncle June, he like, nah, nah. He's like, you know what? I'm going to give him a clear-cut warning. I'm going to kill his boy, take him by the dock, 
and send that message. And that's going to send a message to Tony like, yo, you need to keep your boys in line too, period. You know, I know Chris is important to you. You treat him like a son. But next time, next time, putting his ass in the dirt. But then he got all the stuff that's going on with his daughter and now his wife, Carm. You know, she about to blow up on him. <sighs> it's a lot. And then Chris selling his daughter drugs. Well, not selling, giving her drugs. Oh, it's a lot. I, this, this life is stressful. I'm not even in a life. But if I was, I'd be stressed the fuck out. Like, man, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying where it's going. I'm, I'm excited to see the next episode. Um, but yeah, thanks again. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, you know, this trip with me to the Sopranos. Um, yeah, and then also consider becoming a member. You can go to my Patreon so that way you can see these, you know, reactions unedited and see them early as well. Um, but with that being said, thanks again. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I will catch you guys on the next reaction. Until then, peace. Yeah, this shit good, y'all.